fall. Just climb on up. Kaylee wants to be concise fall. and quick with this review, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be really concise. This, we're not gonna repeat ourselves. No. We're not gonna repeat ourselves. We're not gonna, we're not repeat, gonna repeat ourselves. We're not gonna repeat ourselves. <laughs> like we normally do. As we're gonna we make it through this. So there are two friends who decide to stupidly climb a television tower that is 2,000 feet tall, which is double the height of the Eiffel Tower for context. They get to the top, the ladder breaks off, and now they have to figure out a way to be rescued or get down. Um, or die. Or die. Or die. <laughs> That's an option, too. Um, so this film plays out like 47 meters down yes. in reverse. This is 47... <laughs> hundred meters up yes right hundred percent so it's very reminiscent of that and other films like it's it's the it's the disaster movies where someone's put into this very specific predicament like open water to adrift when they get stuck next to the boat and they can't get on it's just that you know it's that one thing goes wrong and now they're fucked. Because they're they in an extreme environment yes. that humans don't normally exist in. And you put yourself there against God's will. <laughs> yes. And I am the absolute target audience. Let me tell you what. I love films like this. I was there opening night on purpose because I saw the trailer and I'm like, oh, this is totally my kind of movie. And I will say I was definitely disappointed in this movie while I think there are thrilling moments, and I do think that there are cool camera moments and, and perspective shots that give you, um, you know, good perspective. Good perspective. Yeah, there's perspective shots that give you perspective. I'm on the ball today. <laughs> uh, we're going to make this real concise. Uh, no. My biggest issue with the film is really the repetitiveness mm -hmm. of things. The chemistry between the two main girls, mm -hmm. which is fine, but needed to be much better. Yes. The fact that I guessed one of the reveals mm -hmm. within 45 seconds. Yeah. I mean, it way so too fast. quick. I looked at her like under a minute into the film and I was like, oh, this is what's going to happen. Yeah. This is, this is, this is what's happening, you know, with these characters. Yeah. And, oh my God, I was waiting the whole time. I was like, here we go. And then she guessed the other big reveal, um, but she guessed it without telling me I until I, right before it was revealed. It's funny, because I've done that a few times with things where I don't tell you until like right before, because I'm kind of just waiting <laughs> to make sure I'm right. And it's short. <laughs> so like, that hap there's, there's something that happens in this yeah. that is like, please, please stop doing this. Because it's, it's been done to death at this mm -hmm. point. I've seen it in so many of these movies. I'm fucking over it. Right? You can only do the sixth sense, you're dead, reveal so many times before people are like, dude, I've seen this. I've seen this thing. Stop doing this thing. Right? So, no. That didn't work for me. Um, the characters were fine. They were fine. They... The... The biggest problem I had with the film overall is that I guess this could kind of be considered a spoiler, I suppose. But regardless, I mean, this is the film and, and, it, and it, it's my problem with the film. So if you don't want to hear anything that could be spoilery, it's not really, but it kind of is. They don't, they don't really ever make an attempt to get off the fucking tower, right? This movie is just them trying to signal for help. And that was a huge letdown it's for me. It's a huge letdown. I was like, I thought they were going to try to get yes. down the whole movie. And I was just like looking to try to like, I was like really excited to see the different ways they were going to have to try to get down and sure. all the ways it was going to fail. And that is not the film at all. They are sitting on top of this tower just trying to contact help for almost all like over an hour much. of the film. Yeah. And that just gets boring. Gets I'm just like, I get boring. it. You're high up. Yes, but like you said, it's the repetitiveness. It's the fact that they don't try any kind of like super bold and daring, th you know, things, which is the fun in these type of disaster movies. Like in the shark movies that we've watched, 
they're always trying to like get to safety like they're trying to get out of the Absolutely. water they're trying to get away from the shark and in this situation with this movie it's like they would want to get on the ground above all else and yeah we both thought that there was going to be more attempts at that and it doesn't happen I don't want to repeat anything that you've said because I agree with you on all of the things that make the movie kind of disappointing. Um, and I don't think I have anything else to add except that I think it's really dumb for people to climb so high with no parachutes, no jetpacks, no broomsticks, <laughs> no nothing. No <laughs> Just some ropes. At the bottom. No mat no mattresses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't get that. <laughs> I definitely don't get that. I think what, it, like, if you're going to get any... Now, as you were saying, I think that it, there's going to be a couple things that will appeal to you here. There's Number one is, like, if you're mortified of heights, this is sure. really going to play on your fears sure. because they definitely show some angles and, and some perspective shots that give perspective. They give perspective. <laughs> they give scope. They do. Right? Yeah. And and it's like, what the fuck are it they It doesn't on? even this look real. It doesn't even look real. And it's not. Because it's probably green screen. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and that's another thing. Like, that's more of a negative versus like, I think, you know, there's, there's some positives that I think people will like. Um, but another thing is, is a lot of it does look not great. No. Like, there's a lot of moments where it looks poor. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it takes you out of it. You're just like, they're not standing on that thing. No, you're right? like, they're and probably you know like they're not. this far off. Yeah, but, but we're supposed to believe they are, 100%. right? And there's a lot of times, like especially in the opening with the guy uh, and, and the whole thing that happens in the opening. I'm sure you'll guess what happens. Um, if you've yeah. seen the trailer, you can guess. Uh, regardless, doesn't matter. It looks it looks poor. It just looks, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that doesn't look good. That looks like fucking vertigo. From the fifties, mm. and we're in the two thousand twenties. We we need to be better with our with our special effects here, especially when I they're putting this in theaters and 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 it, I'm sure it had somewhat of a budget. Um, yeah. You've got either eye candy for the for the ladies and in Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Megan himself. So I know <laughs> a lot of girls are very into him. <laughs> That's not fair though, because he's in it for like a total. He's in it for maybe three like minutes. Three minutes and yeah. Sure, but he's you know three still minutes. there. Not no, but compared to what you're gonna say, the eye candy for the boys, which is just one of the characters, has like this crazy push up bra from Victoria's Secret, this like a is super like, like her this tits is are like up to cleavage. here, <laughs> and they're just like if you were standing on top out. of her, if you were standing on top of her neck and you look <laughs> down, her cleavage would look like you were standing on top of this TV tower. <laughs> this is how much cleavage there is in her shirt. Like if you were is tiny. like two thousand feet of cleavage. It's this a is ton. so much cleavage in the fucking film. I was like, every scene I was just like, because they put it on the screen and it's a huge screen, so the tits are this big on the screen, and I'm like paying attention to the scene and I'm just like, yeah, I'm a guy. I can't. My brain just is like, uh, what's happening? They're on a tower. That's right. What? Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know if that's a reason. But that's not a selling point. I'm just saying, yeah. like, you're gonna get a lot of cleavage. If if, it, if you're really into like, if you're really into these Daredevil type movies mm -hmm. where the people are in these things, this isn't a good one. This it just doesn't have those thrills for me. Like, I love these kinds of movies, even even dumber ones, right? Like, I love those those like impossible situations movies, like The Pool. Uh, which I really enjoy, Crawl, or I can go through a fucking laundry list of these movies, and even the disaster movies. I love disaster movies. I love the Poseidon Adventure. I love this kind of shit. I'm all about this these kinds of movies. So I am a million percent. You have the disaster movies. You have the you have the cleavage. You got it all. I'm there. I'm ready. I'm your target audience. You got it all. And it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. For me. And it's a huge shame. So, definitely not a theater watch for me. But, no. to experience this correctly, the theater would be the better option. Right? You want to yeah. see that scope. But, man, going and dropping, you know, we, we spent uh, $48 to go see this in bodies. So, this is 24 bucks. This is definitely, like, I would have been much happier renting this on VOD for yeah. like four bucks or something. Yeah. Ah, it just, I don't know. 
It was lackluster. It was lackluster. I like 47 meters down more. For sure. Sh- for sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And this is just, it in reverse. It's a bad version of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah, shame. I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think it's, I'd recommend it. You know, the it. problem with the movie, honestly, is like the writers kind of wrote themselves into a corner with the structure. Yeah. The structure is like this big on top and they just don't like <laughs> like this big on top. They just don't have much room to explore sure. once they get up there. They and the movie's way too long. Oh for, yeah. For what they're doing over and over again, you're just like, dude, cut, cut 15, 20 Easily. minutes off this movie. It's not necessary. No. Right? No, it's not. It's so, not. Yeah, I don't that. I don't no recommend. No, I, don't I really wanted to though. Yeah, I really did. wanted to. Walking into, it, I was really excited about this one. No, watch the pool instead. It's on Shutter. I find it fun as hell. It's kind of stupid. I don't care. Burning bright, right? Crawl, as I had said. These are much better uh, precarious predicaments. Yeah. Precarious predicaments. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Bye. Bye.